stop wiggling. Greetings, Internet. Oxlimations here again with another fun sized review. This one's just going to be a, a, a quick little, quick and dirty, unedited. This is just my honest thoughts on these particular food items. I was on my way home from work today and I just felt that I needed to get myself some Taco Bell. So I went to the Bell and I fetched that food. So, as a lot of you may be aware, there is a new crunch wrap item that they released. A certain. Sorry about that sound. I was just putting the straw in my drink. A uh, certain Cheez It related item, which it turns out that there's actually a couple of different items because they put the Cheez It in the crunch wrap and they also decided, hmm, let's also take that same giant Cheez It and make a tostada. And so we've got the giant Cheez-It in a, uh, not a chalupa, in a crunch wrap and the giant Cheez-It with stuff on. So let's start with the tostada. So that's not it. Aha. I'm just going to apologize to you guys right now. For whatever reason, this is backwards. So just imagine the cheese it part right here and the Taco Bell. Imagine the words are the right way around. I don't know why it's backwards. I haven't been able to fix it. But I have a theory. Hold on just a moment. No, wait, no, no. The tripod's in the way. We'll just deal with it as it is. So anyway, I should say right now I'm not sponsored by Taco Bell or cheese it or any of those other companies. <clears throat> Sorry, Cheez-It isn't a company unto themselves. The company <clears throat> the company that makes Cheez-It. Sorry, I got a little piece of lint or something in my throat and it's really ticking me off. But I have a beverage so I can fix this. I hope. Also, did I happen to mention that uh, it's almost, if it isn't, just over 100 degrees out right now? And the air conditioner in my car doesn't work. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this little video for all my trouble torturing myself like that. They didn't put any care into putting this tostada together. It literally looks like they just threw everything in here. And... No shame against Taco Bell in general, but this particular one usually doesn't do great when it comes to our orders. And, well, take a look at this. Mm -mm. I'm still going to eat it, but, it, it, you know, come on, Taco Bell. Well, at least that particular location. All right, so I'm going to attempt to pick it up, and already things are not going well. It has cracked. But um, let me just try and pick it up. There we go. And here's kind of what the giant cheese it looks like without stuff on it. So, going to go in for my first bite. Here we go. Probably should have tried to do that on camera. But I will say this right now. The giant cheese it is very crumbly. I took one bite and I'm sure you guys heard all the pitter pattering and stuff of all the uh, crumbs of it that fell off. But for what it's worth, for what it is, it tastes pretty good. You just got to get to it kind of quickly before it, you know, completely falls apart, which it's trying to do as I speak. A whole bunch of lettuce just fell off, a big chunk from one corner just broke off. So here we go again. That time I caught it on tape, or film, whatever you want to call this. Video. So like I said, it's not bad. It's a bit sweeter than a usual Cheez-It, I think.
And don't mind that rustling in the background. That's my housemate having their food. All right, so I'm going to have to finish this up real quick before it um, falls apart any further in my hands. And then we'll try the crunch wrap. And of course, no napkins. Oh well. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just abandon tostada. No, no, I'm not. Okay. Like I said, the tostada is pretty good. It's just very, extremely crumbly. So next, we're going to quickly move on to the turn trap, which I can just about guarantee the crunch wrap itself is just going to look like an ordinary crunch wrap. The surprise is the cheese it in the middle, and when you get the um, the Cheez-It Crunchwrap box. In case you didn't know what's in it, I'll show you real quick. You got the nacho fries with cheese. You get, I believe it's a beefy five layer burrito. That's what they said, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, the main attraction is the Crunchwrap. So we're gonna put the fries, the cheese, and the burrito back in the box, and we're gonna get out that Crunchwrap. First, let y'all get a look at it. Now, outside of the bag. And apparently they had uh, some stuff still stuck on the grill when they were frying this up. But I won't hold that against them. Or the fact that it ruptured slightly. Because that gives us a little bitty peek at the crunch. Not the crunch wrap. Inside the cheese it inside. So I get a little lettuce in my teeth. You want to get food right down there, like right in the gums, between the lip and gums. Enough about that. Let's have a bite of this, shall we? Ready, set, go. I already see a downside to these Cheez-Its. It soaked up a bunch of moisture in there. And it's basically just kind of a, it's not crunch anymore, it's basically kind of a paste. That's why I get for getting this at the dinner rush. There's still a couple of crunchy bits in it, but... And for the most part, that thing is sogged completely out. And the flavor is a little bit to get used to, just because, sorry, one moment, just because of, you know, <clears throat> being so used to, adjusted to the flavor of a regular crunch wrap, that's the uh, crunchy to taco tostada thing in the middle of it, to having like the cheese it flavor in there. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, flavor-wise. And texture-wise, it's about on par with the usual crunch wrap. So it's, you know, cheese it instead of a hard taco tostada in the middle of it. So would I recommend this? Purely, well, let me get a drink real quick. Purely for the novelty, 
And if you actually do like Cheez-Its, I do recommend this. Just, I don't quite recommend the tostada because like I just demonstrated, one bite out of that thing and it just shatters. So I'm probably a little late, you know, <clears throat> late to the party in reviewing these. I know I'm late to the party reviewing these. But hopefully my input has, you know, uh, enlighten some of you who haven't seen any of these reviews before. <clears throat> On that note, I'm going to wrap this up here. I'm going to eat my dinner. So I just want to thank you all so very much for tuning in to another one of my videos. I do truly and greatly appreciate it, along with each and every single one of you. If you like what we've seen here today, you know the drill. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Once you are subscribed, you'll be glad you did. And if you'd feel so inclined, go ahead and sign yourself up for my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash oxlimations. That's, well, you know what the channel name is. O is in orange, X is in xylophone, L is in Larry, E is in Edward, Y is in yellow, M is in Mary, A is in apple, T is in Thomas, I is in ice cream, O is in orange, N is in Nancy, S is in Sam. Patreon.com slash oxlimations. With that said... Later, y'all. Have a good day, and stay cool out there. Stay hydrated. I don't want to hear about a whole bunch of you guys getting dehydrated and you know, getting sick from heat stroke and stuff. You're smarter than that, I believe. Anyway, later.